See that no one misleads you. The Bible is clear that the last days will be filled with false teachers, deception, mockers, lawlessness, those who love themselves, those who will be unloving and unholy, those without self-control, those who will pretend to know God, yet they are simply whitewashed tombs. There will be no great end times revival, just a great last days deception. Scripture warns that people will creep into their churches unaware. Who are those creeping in and why are they doing it? The church in the last days will be full of compromise, deception, and a lack of discernment. Life clips will contend earnestly for the faith as Jude 3 instructs. Warning, the red light has been turned on. Grab your Bible, it's time to expose the dark. One of the things that I get the privilege of helping with here at Coast is with the prophetic community. How many of you guys have received a prophetic word on a, on a Sunday after church? No, I have not. Have you? Yeah? Nope. I'll tell you what. You know, we, I, I'm, I'm reminding our, our team now to remind people when they come to pull. I'm trying not to laugh because I've heard this. So I already know what's coming up, but you guys don't. So <clears throat> let me be serious pull out their phone and set it to record and to record that prophetic word because something happens when you uh, when you record that because what it does is you can go back to it and you can listen to it so I laugh at that because I don't recall anywhere in the Old Testament when God gave a true word <laughs> did he say okay so now hit record so you can go back and remember what i said no i i feel like somebody spoke and it happened but they didn't have to go back and say can i hear the recording can you remind me again what was said no no and and faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of the Lord, right? Wrong. So you twist that verse. Faith does come by hearing, but the, the, I reward for this purpose so I could grab a Bible at any given moment. This is what our hearing faith comes by hearing. Have I told you these things so that you won't abandon? Isn't that funny? I literally just opened to John chapter 16 so we're hearing the word of the lord have i i really i just opened it up guys this isn't like serious <laughs> that was not planned have i told you these things so that you won't abandon your faith well I, we just heard the word of the lord there we go put down the recorders we don't need to record oh and by the way this pastor um uh I, i'm probably gonna butcher his last name but it's eric fonseca fonseca f-o-n S-E-C-A, Eric von Seca. This one is not fun, <laughs> but we're going to continue. Right? And so when a word of God is spoken over you, you don't know if I like, for instance, I, I received this prophetic word back in 2001. And for some strange reason on last Friday, I really felt the impression of the Lord, him saying, Hey, I want you to go find that word. <laughs> because clearly God can't remember what he... <laughs> go. So God is saying, hey, Eric, because I can't remember what I told you because I can't duplicate it again. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, we'll just let it rest right there. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe I'll repeat it again. So in that moment, Eric you claim God told you something, right? Right. But now God is saying, uh, can you go find that word? Because I don't remember what I told you. 
He's literally telling you how fake what they believe is, but he doesn't realize what he's saying. He's calling himself out because we don't serve a dumb God. And I mean that seriously. God knows exactly what he said when he said it. He doesn't need you to pick up your daily reminder on your calendar for him. I continue. I, I, I mean, I forgot all about this word, but not. But God didn't. Not on Friday, I didn't forget about it. I was reminded about it because God brought it to my attention. So if he brought it to your attention, why didn't he repeat what he told you? Because these words are not real. They're not real. And, um, and, and he said, listen to that word because this is the season that you're stepping into. And I, and I mean, it was a, it was a really encouraging faith building word. And, but on top of that, it was years had passed by and I forgot all about it. And then the Lord just said that this is, that word is for right now. I want you to listen to it. Can I ask you guys an honest question? If God came to any of us and we heard him audibly speak as these people think that they're hearing, why would I forget anything that God said? Why would I kind of put it on the back burner or not listen to it? Or if it's faith for this season, why would I forget anything that God says? I'm asking if God audibly spoke to you, like literally came down right now out of heaven and audibly spoke to you, would you or would you not unequivocally, no matter how long the time has gone by, no matter what season you're in, I feel like it's winter because it just gets so cold watching these. Do you see what I'm getting at? Would you not remember what God audibly told you no matter what the frigid season is? And, and, and I listened to that word and it built so much faith inside of me. I went to bed and I had some dreams and then the following of course you had dreams. Why would you not have dreams, Eric? These communities are going to be deceived. Hear me by what we just heard last week. They will be deceived by the false prophet. Mark my words, they will. Going night I had dreams and, and I, I was having like three dreams each night. And they were very prophetic dreams. And then a couple days later. Okay, Daniel. So according according, according, according to all of these people, right? There was only a select, very small few, Nebuchadnezzar, Joseph, Daniel, who had dreams. But for some reason, this community seems to have so many dreams that they beat everything that, everything that happened in the Old Testament. I find that fascinating. Just fascinating something amazing happened like just total favor and and it was and it really spoke to what was what i had received from that word and and god just really built that reminded me about it and then i had the faith really to receive that and then so did god remind you or your audio recording i'm confused hmm yeah it happened and and i and i believe that the why the lord does things like that is because he wants to remind us look i'm going to do something and this wasn't you doing it this is me doing this for you okay so god has to remind us again if god audibly spoke to any of us i don't think that i would say oh man what did god tell me i would remember what God said. He wouldn't have to say, Kim, I'm gonna remind you one more time. This is what I said. Okay, you're not doing this on your own strength because sometimes we can go back and forth and we could say, oh, I kind of, oh, oh I, I did that, you know, or whatever. But but God was reminding me. He said, look, th this, is, this isn't how he said it, but I'm just paraphrasing, right? <laughs> okay, so this wasn't how he said it. I'm just paraphrasing. So the last time I, I read the Old Testament, I definitely hear that line. It's not, so Moses, let's use that as a prime example. Um, so he went and told Pharaoh, I, I really don't remember. I'm just paraphrasing what God said. But he may have said something like this, Pharaoh. <laughs> so again, 
unequivocally, that would be no. If a God spoke to you, would you not remember verbatim? Verbatim. The reason they can't remember is because, I don't know, maybe they had gluten and they couldn't handle it. Or maybe they had too much corn on the cob or maybe, I don't know, they watched some stupid movie and uh, I don't know. But these people have not heard from God. I think, you know what I really think? That if Deuteronomy were to come past today and these people would be smoted, smited, submitted, this nonsense would end abruptly. So the first person who said, thus saith the Lord, and at that moment, God smited them. First of all, it'd probably garner a gazillion, a quadrillion views. I see dead people. But I think it would stop. So let's just say it didn't stop. And then it went to the next person. And then that person was smote, smited, <laughs> smited. The Shemitahs, let's say they were all Shemitahs out. They were done. I think it would only take, I personally think it would only take one, but let's just say it took two. I see dead people. I'm thinking that at this point, <laughs> I really do, that they would say, uh, I see dead people. I don't think we should be doing this anymore. I ain't gonna die, but it's not happening. So they continue to do this. I'm going to rewind that because it's so stinking comical. <laughs> he doesn't remember. He's paraphrasing. Good job, Eric. But God was reminding me. He said, look, th this, is, this isn't how he said it, but I'm just paraphrasing, right? He said, look, something's going to happen, and I want you to make no mistake about it. I'm doing this for you. I'm opening up this door for you. And it was really awesome. And so I just want to encourage you guys to record those prophetic words. Because sometimes that word that you re, you re, you receive in that moment, it could resonate with your spirit, and it could be a right now word. But other times, maybe it doesn't really. Maybe it's it's like, oh, well, that's encouraging, but I don't really see that right now. Okay. Another gem, like God just brings these videos to me. So again, we heard what He just said. Let me ask you all again, Eric, let me ask you this. If God were to literally speak to you, which he's not, or let's just say he's speaking to me, I would never have that reaction. I would never say, oh, Lord, I just, I really didn't like that word. Can I get a do-over? Like, I don't know why you're telling me that, because <laughs> that's just pretty dumb. This is where reverence, this is where fear are absent with this crowd of NAR, Charismania, Pentecostalism. They do not fear the I am. Because if they did, they wouldn't do this. Just saying. But then down the road, God might have you listen to that word and then... God might have you listen to the word. He's not going to repeat it though. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I just can't. It just gets better every time I listen to it. And it's for that moment, right? So we're... No, wrong. Wrong, Eric. You are wrong. Record those words and log them. And uh, some people even say to, to take it and then even though you recorded it, write it down also, right? And then write it down. And so anyway, I just wanted to open up with sharing that. Well, what I want to do now is turn it off because the rest of what you say, you butcher, and I'm just not going to have any more entertainment here with it. Until next time. Just write it down. Just write it down, record it. Just, just remember that God can't tell you what he already told you, so he's telling you to please record the message. Just record it, guys. It's the only way you're going to remember what he said. Because God himself won't remember. I don't know. Is this the same God that you serve? Okay, let me stop being sarcastic. That is not the God that I serve. The God that I serve, if he were to tell me something audibly, this girl in fear and reverence, oh, you best your bottom dollar, I would remember. Guys, if you're in churches like this, 
I'll leave it with my favorite meme of all times. Then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus.